new maps, well, my maps, are available. And I'm showing them a little different this time around. Yep, right there. It doesn't say it here, but yes, this is the August 2024 United States map release for Garmin devices. And this is a Garmin Drive 60 LMT. Now, true, you can still get the Garmin maps with this one. But I don't believe I have ever shown my maps being used on a later model like this one. Now, eventually, at some point, you're going to have to do it when Garmin stops with the free maps whenever that occurs. But I got you covered, at least for the United States maps. There are some advantages to... Uh, I, I, I have mentioned advantages before of using OpenStreetMap. Actually, before that, if you're using a later model like this one, be sure to go to, if it's a traffic-enabled model, go to traffic, make sure it's disabled. I mentioned this in a video very recently. If you're going to use OpenStreetMap, don't use traffic because the traffic capability was designed for Garmin-issued maps and not OpenStreetMap. If you have traffic enabled, you may encounter a software crash and it would just sporadically reboot, which would not be good. So just make sure that's disabled if you're using OpenStreetMap on one of these guys. So with that out of the way, okay. I'll list some disadvantages first and then advantages for this specific generation because there are a few good ones actually. Disadvantages, no speed limit, no traffic reporting, no junction view images, no lane assist images, among others. POI search is not as good. Address search, not as good. Chances are, if you have done any research into OpenStreetMap, you already know that for United States, it's just not as good as the UK is. For um, In the UK, yeah, OpenStreetMap is actually quite amazing. Not so much in the US, but still, it's free totally free. You can get mine from sat103.com. I'll have that as the pinned comment and in the description. You want to download it. But the advantage is, okay, for this specific generation. Now, for the Drive Smart and Drive. 50, 51, 60, 61, 70, 71. The most annoying thing about using those is you get these orange animated banners at the top. Tiny little uh, highway exit numbers. And sometimes it's a little slow to calculate routes. With OpenStreetMap, exit number's big because it doesn't shrink it all down to tiny size. That's nice. No orange banners. None. None at all. When you use OpenStreetMap, where your speed is concerned, you know how this turns red when you go over the limit? Well, when you're using OpenStreetMap, that never turns red because it doesn't recognize the speed limit from this particular uh, map data. So this never turns that annoying red color. Ever. <laughs> For some of you listening to this right now, watching this, you're thinking, oh, yeah, that's a reason to use it. Well, yeah. For a uh, driver, drive smart, 50, 51, 60, 61, 70, 71, that's a reason to use OpenStreetMap for sure. Now, I should also mention this is, yeah, I have all the maps loaded. But you'll notice that I do not have the Garmin one. Well, just ones? No, just one. I don't have the Garmin one enabled. You generally should not do that. It, what I mean by that is not have both maps enabled at the same time for the same area. Meaning, for in this case, this means United States. That can cause weirdness and software crashes 
and other not good stuff. So if you're going to, again, if you're going to use OpenStreetMap, just have that selected. Have the traffic disabled because I don't want any of you guys to download this and use it and then it, things go weird and you say, hey, this was supposed to work. Well, it does work if you set it up proper because you got to remember this is an alternate map. This is not the map that originally came with it. This is OpenStreetMap stuff. It's like I said, eventually at some point, at some point, Garmin is going to stop delivering free maps. So even if you have something like this, you might want to go ahead and download this now just to get familiar with it. All you have to do is um, put it on a memory card and just make a folder called map and drop the IMG files in there. That's all you have to do. If you need absolutely need step-by-step -step instructions in the easiest possible way, that is why I wrote a manual. It is on sat103.com. That is not free. The maps are free. You can download those right now. Free as a bird. No problem. But I, you know, I had to put together a manual for this, so yes, it's only like two bucks, three bucks. I, I set it as the lowest possible price that I could on um, Amazon. It's a KDP, uh, excuse me, Kindle thing. So, well, you'll see it. You just, just go and hit the link on that, and you'll you can check that out. But like I said, yeah, you might you might want to get yourself familiarized with this now, just to get used to how it works. Like for example, for the address search, this is just an example of that. Um, I'll just not enter a house number, and I'll just do Maine. So you see, it's going through there. But it says searching in the United States. I can't really specify a town when I'm using Open uh, Street Map. I'm trying to think of an address here that I know. Oh, what was that one for Dunkin' Donuts? I cannot remember. Well, anyway, the thing is, uh, when you're searching, you'll notice it says Dallas, USA. It doesn't say Dallas, Texas, USA. That is just a thing to do with Open Street Map. Personally, I believe the best way to look up locations is to not look up locations in this and instead look up locations with your phone and then where to and then coordinates and enter in the coordinates there, which you can get from either Google Maps or what was that? Oh, what was that other app I had? Oh, you know, what? I'll, I'll link to that video. Um, I'll put a pin comment, uh, not a pin comment, a little uh, card, so you can check that out. As a lookup tool, the phone is fantastic for that. As a navigation tool, it is awful. <laughs> if you've ever used phone for navigation, you know what I'm talking about. When it works, it's great. But when it doesn't, and it decides to have a bad day, which is more often than not. That's when you're looking at these garments thinking, yeah, yeah, maybe I better use this instead. It's just more reliable. Because at the end of the day, you just want it to work. Yeah, I'll have that card there. But if you have a model like this, such as a Drive 60, Drive Smart, something, whatever, or even like a Nuvi 2599, you know, one of the later models, go ahead and throw OpenStreetMap on it. Just just get used to it, because you're going to have to use it at some point anyway. Garmin's not going to be delivering free maps forever, so get yourself familiarized. If you want to, I suggest you do. Sat, excuse me, sat103.com. Go get your maps.